must be known, and even the truth of prohibited action must also be known. Even so, the truth about inaction must be known, for mysterious are the ways of action. He who sees inaction in action, and action in inaction, is wise among men. He is a yogi who has accomplished all action. He whose undertakings are free from attachment, whose actions are burnt up by the fire of wisdom, him even the wise called the man of learning. Having renounced attachment to actions, ever content, without any kind of dependence, he does nothing, though he is ever engaged in work. Having no hopes, his mind and self-controlled, giving up all possessions, performing bodily action alone, he commits no act of ignorance. He who is contented with whatever is caught unsought, is free from jealousy, and has transcended all pairs of opposites, and is balanced in success and failure. Such a yogi, though acting, is not bound. He whose attachments are gone, who is liberated, his mind established in knowledge, whose works are sacrificed alone, such a man's actions are dissolved. The act of offering a sacrifice is Brahman. The oblation is Brahman. The sacrificer himself is Brahman. The sacrificial fire as well is Brahman. Brahman verily he attains, who realizes the presence of Brahman in all action. Other yogis offer sacrifice in the form of worship of gods, while others who have realized the self offer the self a sacrifice by the self in the fire of Brahman alone. Some offer hearing and the other senses into the fires of restraint. Others offer sound and the other objects of sense in the fire of senses. Others sacrifice all the functions of their senses and the functions of the vital airs into the fire of yoga in the shape of self-control. This has gold and it has very special particles. When you take a flash photo, this green will glow in the dark like a flash. You understand? It has these magical qualities. It's, it, it's not uh, in a block light. No, no. It's a flash technology. So this green is a special green, you understand? Magical green. It creates this magical effect. Transparent with a, a little gold. It's hard to work with one hand, trust me. This is the first time I'm doing show and talk. <laughs> this is grass. They met, they fall in love. Their love is so fucking powerful. They burn a fucking hole between each other. This is how... I think this is a guy and this is a woman. I'm not sure. Well, yellow would be nice. It's a different green. It's a... It's a it's a solid, powerful green. Okay, I, I don't even know what this is. I'm not sure if this is upside down. I think it's abstract where it doesn't really matter which side is up. I mean, there's some English here and here, but... Time crab. So it's a crab that is beyond time, okay? And this is some quantum particle, perhaps, graviton. Do you get it? Do you fucking understand anything I'm saying? Do you speak English? Okay, let's do green over one tree on the right and over one tree on the left, right? This is book Bhagavad Gita. This is chapter 17 when God Krishna is explaining how to do but not by not doing so your action is not really your action you understand you're not doing this this is why I'm teaching you chant like this I don't know how to paint I don't know what I'm painting I'm painting I don't know what I'm not painting I don't even exist I'm not Andrei Bogoslavsky. I don't even exist, you understand? I don't have any thoughts in my mind. I don't have any thoughts in my mind. My mind is empty. I have no thoughts. 
I'm talking to you, but it's basically bullshit what I'm talking. The painting paints itself, do you understand? Reality creates itself. I've been saying it for many years. Reality creates itself. Universe creates itself for the purpose of creation. There is no other purpose for the universe to exist but self-creation. Organisms self-assemble themselves. Did you know that? I mean, primordial, not organs, fucking organic acids. So now it's gonna play my favorite music and that shit, it's gonna be crazy, okay? Okay, I make my brushes. You see, I cut the shit out of it and I pick up like strange, I think this is popsicle, but it's perfect. Look, look, bang. Nobody can do this shit. Even Jackson Pollock cannot control. I can. I control that. Do you understand? I control gravity. I'm a fucking gravitationalist. Do you understand? Look, look, look. Bimangalam. Mangalam, 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 Bayuma. I don't want to put too much paint. This is supposed to be a sketch. These are sketches. These are first ideas about something. Gaia tree, Gaia tree, and an artificial organism, bioorganism. You understand? So, this is, for instance, forces of nature, Gaia. Pink is very popular in Andres Bogoslavsky place. Babatu babatu, sarva mangalam. Babatu babatu babatu, sarva mangalam. Check it out. Why did I do this? I don't know. What does this matter? I don't know, it doesn't really fucking matter. This color is there. It doesn't really fucking matter, trust me. But, because I already did it, now, there is a reality of this color there. So how do I handle it? Well, how about we make a fucking ocean? Like a cosmic ocean of human destinies. Because there's a treasure to be found. Treasure of love. So this is very important personal cosmic ocean. Everyone's destiny ocean, you understand? Every destiny is in this ocean and it's quantum destiny. What do we got here? Here we got a guy, fuck. On his knees, there is Pandora's box, there is an apple of temptation. So, bang, this guy smashed the apple of temptation. We need some white. Then, aya, we're gonna paint today or what? Huh? We're gonna dance and paint, ladies and gentlemen, because this is how real painting happens. By dancing, universe creates itself. This is, this is Aphrodite, by the way. This is my girlfriend, Aphrodite. This is why her hair is pink, because it's all about pussy. It's all about reproduction. It's all about fucking, okay? So that's why there's so much pink in Andre's life. Because I have three daughters and they always wore pink. Except one. My youngest daughter was always a tomboy. She always dressed up in a police uniform. So I said she will be a perfect FBI agent. Her uncle, Mr. Ryan, is an FBI agent. And her grandfather, Mr. Ryan, was an FBI agent. So I think my youngest daughter should be a BI agent. She's the smartest one. 